Hey everyone, so it's the Unlike Your Prepper here, and I just wanted to do a quick video on um, sprouting. I am completely new to it. Please don't quote me on anything to do with it, but um, the other day I had seen a lot of videos on it, and I thought it was a good way to add to my nutrition. So I set out to find the cheapest possible way for me to possibly sprout. So I went to the largest chain store in America. I'm not going to say their name. But I went ahead and I picked up a few different types of beans. These here are pink beans. These here are lentils. And these here is pearled barley. And I went ahead and I did all three in these little... These are the 8 ounce mason jar, I mean, um, ball jars. And after two days discovered that pearled barley does not work. Do not bother getting this. But I ended up having really good luck with the pink beans. And what you're seeing here is the lentils. And these are these are actually probably about five days out. Um, they were completely edible at two days. Um, really optimal at three. And for me, I think I'm going to like them better at five. I tend to like mine with a lot of green on them. Uh, I know some people like them and they can just get them to sprout and then they eat them right then and there, but I really love like alfalfa seeds and things like that when they have a, a little bit more to them. Um, so that is the lentils and the pink beans. They're a little bit harder. They're definitely not like sandwich kind of things. Like I ended up actually doing this. Um, I did, I think I did turkey sandwich and I put some in and I also did, um, I had a ham sandwich and I didn't have a lot of things to put in it and I just wanted to add a little nutrients so I went ahead and I added them to a ham sandwich and it was fine like that. Um, I definitely want to look into getting alfalfa seeds uh, because that's more, it's a smaller seed and it's, it's more sandwich worthy which is what I, lo I eat a lot, I eat a lot of sandwiches but just in case you're wondering, yes you can go ahead and get this uh, bag of lentils, I think this costs like a buck. Maybe maybe eighty eight cents, maybe a dollar five tops, and um, that's what you're looking at right there. So it works. And these, I unfortunately I used them up. I went ahead and I put them into I had a soup, and I was getting I had a lot of broth left, and I didn't have a lot of anything else. So I went ahead and I threw them in there, and they were tasty in there too. I have to say, you have to want the nutrients more than you mine the flavor. I like the flavor of them, but some people complain about that it doesn't taste that fantastic. So, um, if you are wondering, yes, the pink beans do work. They do sprout. The lentils came out fantastic. Um, the pearled barley, I think they kill it in the process, and that's why it doesn't work, but don't quote me on it. I don't know much about barley and that sort of thing, but I've heard that there's other types of barley that work fantastic, and actually... I can't remember exactly what it is, but I heard that um, cat grass is sometimes made with different types of barley. So, yeah, and actually the whole reason I started doing this is because I had been researching cat grass, and then when I was looking at links about cat grass, it led me to sprouting information. And I said, hey, why not? I really love alfalfa, so I'll try that. So I will probably add this into a sandwich in a little bit, so you probably won't get to see this for much longer, but... Um, Came out great, tastes fine, tastes tastes good. I really like how they work. They're they're still small enough that they work well in things, and I'm really happy with it. So, ta-da! Unlikely prepper out.